Hello, and welcome to a special episode, um, first of many of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Kevin, and it's just me today. Um, I have been wanting to, for a while, have a sort of mini-series. And actually, I, I do believe it's going to be a recurring series, but it will be intermittent uh, throughout the feed. Um, and right now, I'm just calling it Lessons, or if you wanted to get you know fancy about it, Conversations with Coaches, colon, Lessons. Um, some f ridiculous movie title format. Anyway, I'm calling the series Lessons, and it's exactly that, sticking with the consistency of being very literal here on the Conversations with Coaches podcast. This series is going to be about things that I've learned from talking to the, my goodness, now in the hundreds, well, over a hundred. I haven't gotten to multiples of hundreds yet, but we're getting, we're getting there in a hurry. Um, some of the lessons I've learned from these brief, but very insightful and somewhat deep conversations I've been able to have with um, a number of coaches. And quite frankly, it's, I can honestly say without exception, that every single coach I've talked to has taught me something, reminded me of something, exposed me to something, turned a light on inside my brain, even in just our short time together. Um, without exception, they've been exceptional, to put it pretty bluntly. So I want to share some of the some of the highlights, I guess, some of the things that have maybe stuck with me, even you know months after I've talked with many of these coaches for the first or second time. Um, and yeah, I think I just want to do that. And if I and if I can remember, <laughs> which most times I will, I will highlight the coach that I at least remember first hearing of this from or who inspired whatever this lesson happens to be, um, as is often the case with the the best coaching. It's very grounded, almost common sense wisdom that nonetheless has very profound and sometimes complex applications to your personal and professional life. So it's, you know, it's, it's sort of that distilled, like I can get it to you in a couple minutes and you might spend a couple of years trying to understand it. And you might spend the rest of your life learning that lesson over and over again. I know I've encountered a number of things like that um, just over the course of this podcast. So without further ado, I think that's enough ado. Um, my first lesson that I remember, the first one that came to mind when I was thinking about this little, this little series is the differentiation or using the differentiation between architecture and archaeology to shine a light on exactly what coaching is. And I remember this, I remember first hearing of this particular dichotomy from Brooke Moran, who I interviewed, I believe it's, I think it might've been last year um, in the fall. I honestly, time has barely any meaning anymore. So <laughs> I think today is Catter Day. I have no idea. Anyway, Brooke was excellent, excellent to talk to. And she, I've always been very fascinated by these sort of, the, the analogies that can really illuminate a great deal of truth about a concept or a principle or an idea. And I loved Brooke's take that she thought of coaching as architecture, this assembling of plans and blueprints and this building of a structure um, that again is adaptable to the circumstances that meet specific needs, but it's very planned out, systemic or systematic, I should say. Um, and archaeology is a little bit more akin to what someone might think of as therapy, where you are essentially digging into things, whether it's the past experiences or traumas or present emotions or intellectual states, and just digging in and, you know, taking a like a, you know, a delicate ar um, archaeologist brush and just kind of brushing the dust off and letting the shape of it and the detail of it emerge and reveal itself to you. And I really like that. Obviously, like all metaphors are you know, it's as imperfect. If you if you could carry it too far forward, you obviously begin to kind of break the analogy. But I really like it at this level because I think it helps people to understand what coaching is, which is a kind of a core tenant of this whole podcast existing, is to just shine a light on what coaching is, who, what kinds of people do coaching and do it well, have been doing it for a very long time. How do they coach, who they coach, what their ideas, what their principles, what their passions are. So I really, really, really like the way that this illuminates a little bit about what coaching exactly is. And I do like thinking of it as architecture. It's obviously a little bit more than that, but I really do like that dichotomy. So I'm sharing it with you. It has, it's actually still, I believe, yes, it does. It still has a presence on my whiteboard. I keep a little section of the whiteboard I have in my office specifically for things that inspire me or remind me or get me thinking along the right lines. And I just have... Um, architecture versus archaeology, just kind of up there. And whenever I look at that, I remember Brooke and being able to talk with her. And it reminds me of how much I love what she's doing in her coaching practice and what I get to do through this podcast. 
um, and also gets me thinking about these these sort of comparative ideas that allow me to better understand what it is we're all doing as coaches, what it is we're all doing as you know really people, um, and how we can best serve each other. I think I think that's the full the full lesson. So thank you for listening. And yeah, this uh, expect to see this series of mini sods, mini pods, mini somethings um, in the feed periodically. Um, going to keep going for three times a week. People seem to really like how regular this podcast is coming out. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. I get to riff, but in a very limited amount of time. So you don't get to hear me drone on and meander and go tangential like I, you know I can do. So with that said, thank you for listening and I'll talk to you again soon.